Welcome back to IVCC. So uh, we have, as you heard from the history, uh, uh, another uh, Evolute uh, R case. And uh, so I'm going to be uh, going in number one position and Garda at number two position today. Uh, we have Jean-Claude Laborde with us and uh, welcome Jean-Claude. Uh, uh, we have Mike Bellamy on Echo and Paul Morrison at the anaesthetic end, although this is a local anaesthetic case. On the top right panel again you get a short axis view of the valve which is quite calcified. You can't really see the morphology particularly well but obviously it's a severely stenotic valve. In the bottom left panel we have the four chamber view with the normal right ventricle, good left ventricle and biatrial dilatation. And on the bottom right is some colour flow Doppler where we can see a very trivial to mild jet of aortic regurgitations to start with. We can nice. see outlined in chalk the... Uh, I've got it, thanks. Uh, outlined in chalk the twists and yep. so around here we'll twist around with the she's marked the spot for us there we okay. go what's less good is that There's there seems to be quite else. a twist uh, there I think I might just straighten out I think yep. it will straighten out yeah. so I've left the uh, forceps marking where I want to push Good Should come thing. in a second. Yes, here it comes. Okay, that's, that's a fantastic a nice pulse from my hand. That's good. It's gone through the uh, little tortuosity without any bother. Okay, so it is a very horizontal route. Uh, let's just start and see which way it's going to go. That's was oh, quick. Fantastic. So, so, so it is tight because it doesn't want to go through. Safari. Uh, Boston Scientific Safari preformed uh, curved wire. There are two sizes of curves, and uh, we always tend to use the um, smaller one. It just sits uh, neatly in the, at the apex usually. It does bounce up and down quite a bit before it settles into position, as you'll see. Okay, That's so here comes come. the wire. So you can see it as you take the pigtail out, it bounces a bit, and then it settles into place. Actually, I'm so going to ask God to do that because his sheath keeps moving. Let's, uh, let's start. Okay, so you've got arrows on here, and it's a very easy manoeuvre. You just follow the arrows. and here. Just at the start, when it starts to open, we'll just hold, Absolutely. because we'll do another picky. Hold there. Don't you go slowly here, and you make an angel in a while, eh? so we'll see. I think I like that. Okay, yeah, so I like it too. That's okay. okay. So what we now see, this is anterior, so we see uh, sort of more of an anterior paravalvular leak. Uh, it, it's definitely more than mild. Um, this is a short axis view parasternal. Uh, this is the left atrium, this is the right side, and you can see that the valve is more of this sort of D shaped appearance. Okay, thanks, Mike. Thanks. That's very kind. Whether so we accept that she's now no longer got severe aortic stenosis, but we have given her some mild to moderate aortic regurgitation. Okay, and so, so, uh, so we've uh, brought this case to a, a close, and uh, there was some pressing needed on the leg. We've pressed for 20 minutes, and that's uh, now taken an angiogram, which uh, if we show you on screen, that twist that uh, we worried about, which caught one of our wires, but actually which didn't allow any other problems to occur. No, it didn't. So and the bleeding was all subcutaneous, really. Exactly. And that all stopped with manual pressure. Great. Okay, great. Thank so thanks very much. very much for joining thanks us. Thanks very much.